what's going on my dudes welcome to the channel i'm quinny biggs and today my dudes are going to be teaching you how to make a fully automatic melon or pumpkin farm for minecraft java edition bedrock edition mcpe every version of minecraft up to 1.17 so let's get started and show you how to build this farm first off we're going to need these supplies in this chest right here now these can be any block of your choice and you don't have to use glass if you want to use stone you can as well but let's go ahead grab all these items and let's get started all right, the first thing we want to do is we want to find a nice big open area to build this farm and we're going to start by putting down one chest just like that. We're going to break the block behind the chest and we're going to place down a hopper leading into it. Don't forget a crouch when placing down the hopper, just like that. Now on the same line as your chest, we're going to go one, two, three, four with blocks and one, two, three, four again, just like this on the front of the farm. We're going to go ahead and place one piece of glass right over top of the chest and then in front of the chest, we're going to dig out one. That way we can still access it. Now from each side here, we're going to go one, two, three, leaving a space at the end. Then we're going to go on the other side, leave one space, one, two, three, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and run these blocks all the way to the other side. That way this farm looks exactly like this so far. Next thing we're going to do is grab our grass blocks and on the back of this stone wall, we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our two water buckets. We're going to go ahead and make an infant water pool because we're going to need some extra water further on. But we're going to place one water bucket here and one water bucket here. And then they should equal right in the middle. That way, when you drop an item in here, it'll go down into the hopper, then into this chest. All right. So on the back of this stone wall here, we're going to do a pattern. We're going to go one piston space, one piston space, one piston, one piston, one piston, just like this. There should be five pistons exactly because there's nine blocks back there and every other piston. So we're going to go ahead and now place down our observer. So grab a temp block, place a temp block, put down your observer, make sure the dot is facing the back or the arrow is facing that way. Just make sure that face is looking at you when you come to this side. So we're gonna do that with all the observers. So go ahead and do that now, just like this. Go ahead, temp block, observer, temp block, observer and then break the temp blocks. So your farm should look exactly like this now without that water leaking out. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our block of choice and we're gonna go ahead and line these up over top of all the um, pistons and the observers. Next thing, we're gonna grab some glass and we're gonna go around by two high around this whole farm. This is going to keep the melons inside the farm. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hop up here and we're going to till the land. Now you're only going to till in front of the observers just like that. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four with melon or pumpkin seeds. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come to the back of the farm. We're gonna build two out all the way from the piston to the other piston back here. And then we're gonna place one block in front of each observers just like this. And then we're gonna grab redstone and we're gonna link up all these pistons together. And there you have it, my dudes. You have just built a fully automatic pumpkin or melon farm. And I'm gonna show you guys how this actually works. So basically, once the pumpkin or melon grow up, as you guys can see, my tick speed is on a higher amount, just for example purposes. Um, but as you guys can see, over time, as the pumpkins grow, they will get hit by the pistons. The observers will detect the growth. And basically, the, uh, the pistons will push them off and then drop them down into the water stream and then lead them into the chest down here. And you'll have lots and lots of melons and pumpkins for days. Now, just to remember, this farm is expandable. You can make this thing layered. You can make this thing longer. You could do this thing back to back if you want to. You can do this anyway. You can shorten it. You can make it one instead. You can make it one chamber instead. This thing is fully expandable and fully um, basically compact compactable um, for this farm and it looks absolutely amazing let's be really honest with this one this one's pretty cool and if you really want to you could throw some like you know you could throw some glowstone in there to help grow at night and stuff like that some torches up here um, you could throw a roof on it but i just did a minimalistic build here and it looks honestly really good and the yields are pretty decent all right, my dudes, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys build it, let me know. Drop in the comment section. Let me know. And also, don't forget, we're on the road to 50,000 subs, dudes. We're almost there. We are slowly, slowly making our way there. So dropping a sub really helps Quinny. So thank you so much for watching, dudes. And I will see you in the next Minecraft tutorial or anything Minecraft related. Peace out, my dudes.